Hello and welcome to Gillette Indoors. Hello and welcome to Gillette Outdoors. My name is William Gillette and today we are indoors. Not outdoors. But today we're going to talk about Loop Deck, which is a tool that I received. Uh, I just want to let you guys know I don't get paid by this. I bought this myself. Um, but I did want to show you guys, because it's a really cool tool, exactly what it does. So let's go! Hey, we're back. So, first thing I want to do is I don't want to apologize for the squeaky chair. I understand that it squeaks and I apologize in advance. I know somebody's going to say something about my squeaky chair, but this is a very old chair and it's very comfortable and I like it. So, this is another thing I like. This is Loop Deck. Um, I actually got this as a Christmas gift this past Christmas from my wife and my daughter. Thank you. Um, I happened upon this one day, never heard of it. Apparently it's been out there for a long time, I just never heard of it. So, and I do a lot of editing. I, I only use Lightroom, Photoshop, and, and stuff like that. So I'm surprised that I've never heard of it. But that's kind of why I wanted to make this video because I'm sure a lot of people out there have never heard of it. And a lot of you watching, you know, I mean, you guys are friends of mine and you know, maybe you don't know about it. So I wanted to tell you guys a little bit about it. Now this is not going to be a tutorial on how to use a loop deck. This is more of an overview of, hey, look at this, it's out there. You might be interested in it. Go out there and do some research. If you type in loop deck on YouTube, you're going to find a million tutorials on how to use each and every one of these buttons. And I don't need to make one because they're already out there. I'm just kind of communicating to you guys, you know, hey, this thing's out there and this is what it does. Um, so here it is. Uh, it's going to be almost the exact same size as a regular keyboard. Um, it doesn't replace your keyboard and mouse. It's just a tool that you add to it um, to make it to make your job a little faster, make your workflow a little faster. And it definitely opened up my editing. Now, um, the two things that I always tell people who are getting into photography is number one, you only shoot in raw. If you're not shooting in RAW, stop trying to be a photographer. Um, number two is you have to edit in Lightroom. Number one directly affects number two. And if you don't shoot in RAW, you will not understand what I'm saying. If you have a camera, shoot in RAW. Edit in Lightroom. Um, so this right here is just a tool that's going to help you edit. And it basically just takes each one of these dials um, adjusts a tool in, in Lightroom. And I'm gonna go over that real fast, but I will say that this thing right here has kind of opened up the way I edit, and it has made, you know, different different uh, adjustments so readily available to me that now I use them. Whereas before, you had to dig down in some drop menus, and then it's all, you know, a hundred little sliders that you have to adjust. Now it's just a simple roll of a wheel and all of a sudden you're adjusting that. So you don't have to look for those things. Um, which I'm going to kind of get into it here real quick, but I just really wanted to show you guys um, you know, that this is out there. So let's, let's get a little bit more in depth. Hey Vector, give me a fist bump. Vector. Okay, so let me get into real quick exactly uh, how you use this thing. I mean, I'm not going to go through every feature and functions. There's YouTube videos all over the place to do that. I'm just basically going to give you an overview of it um, so you can say, yes, I could use that, or no, nah, I'm not really into that. So um, basically, you just go online. You're going to download the Loop Deck software, which I'm going to open up right here. Super simple. You don't even do anything in the software. You just, I mean, there is settings and stuff. You can go in there and adjust. Um, but initially, I mean, there's really nothing to do. You open up the Loop Deck software, then you open up Lightroom. Um, and the Loop Deck software is just running behind it. 
those two just kind of build a bridge together so that you can use them. So this right here is going to be just a photo that I just shot recently on a camping trip. Um, Lightroom, I mean, if you use Lightroom, you know what it looks like. If you don't use Lightroom, you don't need this because that's what it works with. So there's your library over there. Here's your tools over here. I'm in develop mode right now because that's when you're going to use this. A couple of the features and functions will work um, in the library mode, but it's not really that useful. I mean, you can use the arrow functions, but you could use them on a keyboard, so that doesn't really make much sense. So um, this is how I like to use it. You still are going to need a keyboard for certain things. Obviously, when you're naming your files as you export them, um, you're still going to need a mouse. Uh, when you're cropping and things like that, you still need the mouse for that. But this is going to take most of your functions and just kind of put them all in one spot. So let me show you real fast exactly what we're going to do. Um, now, the cool thing about it is, like right now, you have all this stuff all around the photo that's kind of distracting. And what you normally do in, in Lightroom is, let's say you come over here and you want to adjust the exposure, you would click and you would drag the exposure bar to adjust your exposure, which everybody does that. That's what we've always done, right? Um, you double click on the slider and it automatically goes back to center. So if you've adjusted things and you don't really like the way that they're adjusted, you just double click on it, it goes away. Easy. Now, with the loop deck, what I found is the easiest thing for me is to actually get rid of all this stuff. You know, to actually go up here to Windows, you're going to go down here to Screen Mode, uh, Full Screen Preview. Now you've gotten rid of all of the nonsense, and it's just the photo. And everything that you're going to be working with is going to be right here. So if you want to adjust the exposure, you have an exposure, you, uh, you just twist the knob and it will automatically adjust the exposure. You know, if you want to, you know, brighten up the shadows, if you want to add a little bit of clarity to it, everything that you want to do is now labeled right here in front of you. Um, it's a knob. You just turn the knob. Very simple. Um, it's basically the click and slide, but now it's in an analog knob. Um, you have a lot of features and functions on here that are customizable. You can go in here and set all your presets. So you have P1, P2, P3, P4, all the way to P8. Those are for your presets. So you assign your presets to each one of those. And then if you have a preset that you like, you're going to automatically just hit that and it's going to apply the preset to that photo, which is awesome. Um, there's uh, uh, crop rotate. So let's say that you want the horizon line wasn't quite level, you can just basically turn this big knob here that says crop rotate and it's going to adjust that. Um, let's go back to where we were here. Alright. So, now let's say that you're, you're in here and you want to adjust the exposure. And you're like, man, that's not quite right. Let me bring up the shadows. Let me, you know, tweak the highlights. Let me add some saturation. Oh gosh, I've messed up my photo. Everything's chaos. Um, well, it's super simple. If you just push down on the knobs, it automatically resets everything back to the zero. So it's basically the equivalent of double clicking on that little slider bar when you push down on the knob. It just resets it which is awesome. Um, up here across the top, it's pretty cool. You've got these little colored um, these little colored dots and above them is a little scroll wheel. So let's say that you wanted to adjust the blue only on this tent here. Um, you can adjust the, the blue by just moving the scroll wheel. I have it set to saturation right now, but you can adjust, let's say, the luminance. So you can turn that, make the blue tent even brighter. Now let's say that you get it up here and you've you've completely changed it. Now the tent's purple. Um, all you do is just hit this push the scroll wheel in and it automatically sets it back to zero. So you can you don't have to worry about you know completely ruining your picture. You just hit that button, 
automatically zeroes it back out. So it's awesome. Um, there's so many features and functions on this thing. I'm not going to get into all of them. There's a million YouTube videos about it. If you really want to dig down deep into every feature and function, I'd say go look, just type in loot deck on the uh, on YouTube and it's going to give you all those things. I just basically wanted to show you guys a simple overview of exactly what this thing does um, and just kind of tell you the things that I like about it, the things that I use. I really think that this is going to help me with my workflow. I've only been using it a couple weeks and I've already I've already got to the point where I know now where the knobs are. Originally you have to sit there and you have to look down at them and you see the knobs and you turn them and you read them. But now I can just look at the picture and I can just by feel know exactly where these controls are. And it's so much more um, it's so much more simple than you know hitting all these, you know, control this and and you know whatever you have to hit here, multiple key functions. Um, and I was good at doing that. This is just so much easier. It's just so much better. Um, things like you have your star ratings across here. So let's say that I really, really like this picture. You hit the five star button. It rates it as five stars. And then when you're going to the library, you just say, I want to see all my five star photos. It gets rid of all the other photos. Just your five star ones are there. Then you can go through your five star photos and see exactly the ones that you like the best and you flag them as you're editing so that way you can you know highlight those photos because you see that that's the best photo so just little things like that make it make it super convenient um, things like you know just this little arrow keypad on the side so if I let's say I'm done editing this photo you can hit the arrow keypad and it just goes to the next photo you just start editing um, I rarely touch my mouse I rarely touch my keyboard anymore and when I do, like I said, it's for export. You just go in there and name. Now, another cool thing is it actually has an export button on here. So let's say that I want to export this photo. You hit that button, it boom, it automatically pulls up my export box and it gives you everything right here. Then you go in, that's when you use your keyboard. You can name it, you can label it, whatever. And then you hit <coughs> export, boom, done. So, I mean, I. I think it's great. Um, there's a, also a full screen button on here too, so you don't have to go up to Windows and all that stuff. They they know you're going to use it in this mode, so they put the button there. You just hit it. So as soon as I sit down, full screen mode, start adjusting, start tweaking, go to the next photo, start adjusting, start tweaking it, get my colors right, get everything right. Um, it's got presets. So let's say you have a preset that you really like. You can say, all right, my you know I'm going to use my you know preset three which is gonna you know be you know old school or whatever you hit you hit the preset three automatically applies it I mean all around I think they've kind of thought of everything um, there are some things that are kind of weird though it has two zoom buttons on it so you know it, it, you can zoom in and I don't really think that feature is is very good I mean you can obviously grab your mouse and you can you know click around and and zoom in I mean that's great but why do I need two of them I don't need two of them I mean one is enough I don't understand that but there's little tiny things like that but nothing that's gonna make me not like it let's put it that way it's it's an awesome tool I'm super happy with it it's definitely gonna speed up everything that I do and I believe it's gonna give me better results on everything I do because you can feel it you know you can I mean I it, I know that sounds weird but you can you can actually you get into editing more. There's a lot of things that you just don't want to sit there and click in the drop down menus and find these certain things. Um, then they're right here in front of you. So now, you know, I didn't used to adjust single colors as much as I do now. Let's like the saturation of the blue tent. Like normally, I would adjust everything, but I never really got into those menus because there's so many little things that you can adjust and everything's so minute. When it's laid out right here in these scroll wheels, I mean, it's fantastic. Now I'm like, you know what? I do want a little bit more saturation of blue in the tent. You know what? I do want a little bit more <coughs> luminance in the yellow fire. I do want to make that bright and bold, you know, without adjusting everything else. And that's the only way to do it. So now I use it because it's right here in front of me. So I think it's awesome.
think it's great. All right, so what do you guys think about that? It's a pretty cool tool, right? Um, you know, I like to take you guys along with me when I go do photos and teach you guys how to do different types of shots or at least pique your curiosity on how to do a shot so you guys can research something. I have always told people, listen, I'm not the best photographer, I'm not the most technical person, I'm not the biggest geek when it comes to stuff like this, but I do like to, you know, find new techniques and new tools and try something different in everything that I do. So I think that that is part of the creative process and little tools like this will help you in the long run be creative. So hopefully you liked the video, hopefully you maybe saw something that you wouldn't maybe have seen somewhere else. So um, if you like it, click like, of course, always follow my channel and um, I'll definitely see you guys out in the field. This is William Gillette from Gillette Outdoors Indoors. I'll see you guys later. Bye.